Hello basketball players, my name is basketball coach Alan and today I'm going to talk to you about some different basketball moves that you can do if you can palm a basketball. Now, if you can almost palm a basketball or if you can't just yet, what you need to do is some wrist strength workouts. Now, I do have a couple of videos on this, so if I remember, I'm going to link them in the top comment below as well as in the description below. But basically, these are moves that you can do if you can pump ball. That's not super slippery, but my right hand's a bit better than my left. Anyways, so going down to it, a lot of players, especially in street ball, will carry the ball. The reason why they carry the ball is to make the fake, like if they're actually going to drive in that direction, a lot better. But... If you're in a game, you can't carry a ball. It's gonna be called a carry. So there's a few ways around that. If you can palm a ball, what you can do is when you're dribbling up towards your defender, you can palm it, which if this ball wasn't so slippery, I'd be able to do without using two hands. And then you can cross back in the other direction. Now, palming ball is very ideal to be able to steal the ball from an opponent you can get a lot more rebounds if you can palm a ball. So there's more uses to it than just this. However, what you can do is if you're driving in one direction, you can palm it and bring it back the other direction. Now, going from there, basically, there's so many more things that you can do. So anytime you see a street ball move, or if you go to a channel and see some street ball moves that you want to emulate, if you can palm a ball, instead of carrying it, so if you're about to go and cross over and, and carry the ball, instead, you can cross over, palm the ball, and bring it back. It's not a carry. And 99% of the time in a game, you're going to get away with doing this. You're not going to get away with carrying the ball, but you will get away with palming the ball. Because when you're carrying the ball, if you're more than half of your hand goes underneath half the ball, it's a carry. So if you can palm the ball and do a move where you can really palm it like that and then cross it back over, it's gonna freeze your defender a lot better. Okay, so a few things that you can do as a player if you wanna get stronger wrists. For one, you wanna have the stress balls. You can go to a dollar store even and grab a stress ball and just do, do that for like 10 minutes every other day, your wrists are gonna become a lot stronger. Now, I will give you this warning. If you're unable to have your hand stretch over two of these lines, whether it be on the smaller area or on the bigger area, then you're not gonna be able to palm the ball as easily. You need to have ridiculously grippy hands. But if you can stretch it over two lines, it, the, the actual parts of the ball will help you hold the ball in one hand. Going from there, you can do different wrist workouts. You can get dumbbells and just do wrist workouts. Quite literally, that's all you have to do. And then you can even get a long, bell, uh, long bar and have weights and do that as well. Another thing you can do is get an elastic band, stretch it around all your fingers, and then you can expand outwards and that's gonna then work on the muscles that are the opposite of what you'd be normally using because whenever you, let's say you work out your chest and you're doing a lot of bench press, your shoulders, your, your back, they're all gonna be crunching over. That's why you wanna work out your back as well so you can stand up straight again, essentially. You don't have to be all crouched over. A lot of these people who work out, these big bodybuilders who just work out their chest, they're gonna be hunched over. And that's because they're not working out their back. Same idea for your wrists. You want to have the whole wrist workout, and that's why you want to do uh, the extent, your finger extensions with an elastic band. Now, you can get different strengths of elastic bands online for this same exercise. But if you want to be able to palm the ball, the advantages, of course, is the crossover. But other advantages is being able to grab a rebound over another player. Another advantage is being able to steal the ball uh, from another player as well because if you've got two hands that can both palm a ball versus somebody who can't you're gonna have the extra added strength to rip it from them if it's a jump ball situation now one more advantage to being able to palm the ball and have wrist strength that's really good is when you're older and you're able to dunk or if you're able to dunk right now 
you're able to palm the ball a lot easier and be able to dunk it a lot easier. And that's what's helped me when I was starting to dunk. When it came to the end of grade 12, where I was becoming a more of a consistent dunker, I didn't have to roll the ball off my hand and grab rim. I could actually, between, actually near the, near the beginning of grade, I mean, uh, near the beginning of college, I was able to cleanly dunk it. So, something to keep in mind. I can't dunk it anymore, but I'm working on it. I'm hoping that within a year from now, I will be able to dunk the ball again. And that's going to be great. If you don't already know, I tore my ACL, my MCL, and my meniscus. So, uh, yeah, things happen. Gain some weight, but I'm working on it. Anyways, I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.